Hey everybody, I'm Recycled, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim VR Diabolist! Wow, the sky is so pretty. I guess that was added by a mod. <laughs> Otherwise, it wouldn't be so pretty. So, the reason why I'm looking this way and towards nothing is because if I turn around, there's fire, and you may or may not know, but fire just kills your frame rate. It's not good. And it's never been fixed. There's never been a mod to fix it. But, uh, basically, I have the game about as low as I'd like it ever to be. Graphically speaking, and the only other thing I could do maybe to improve my performance is to toggle grass at this point and just disable all the grass. But grass generally isn't that difficult to render. It's just fire effects for the most part, but, you know, whatever. And um, we're here at Halted Stream Camp and the mine, and we're going to pick up some iron while we're here, obviously. But, uh, yeah, there's some cool shit inside. Let's go. And I decided, um, well, I never did figure out how to get my... Uh, hammer, yeah, even though it's really big and, um, it looks like a two-handed weapon, it's not, it's one-handed. And, uh, I couldn't figure out how to get it on my back, and I think that's probably because it was added by a mod or something. For some reason, it just doesn't work that way, but any other weapon I find will go back there. And I think a two-hander really deserves that place. But basically, uh, I have to choose, you know, do I want, you know, a one-handed weapon that I can, you know, attach fire to because I have a free hand, or... But I'd rather have two weapons, and that's funny, the fire went to my other thing, and I can still cast fire, so that's cool. But, um, yeah. So, it's something I gotta think about. But I think I'm probably gonna be most effective in combat with two of these, and I found these, uh, I had two of these, um, scimitars or whatever. Uh, let's go in here, and we'll be sneaky, and we'll sneakily, sneakily throw scimitars, and hopefully my frame rate's good. I think it's good. Is someone there? You're so... Oh, wow, he killed him. No, he didn't. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Oh. Always set off that darn trap. Yeah, we gotta get sneaky, man. And you can get 100% sneaky just by, uh... This guy had a pickaxe, right? Eminent victory. Take less damage from enemy attacks the further their health falls below 80%. That's cool. Resist disease. Yeah, whatever. I'll we'll sell them. Fire damage lingering. Burns until combat ends. Hmm. Pretty good. I mostly like things that do lots of damage. A human heart? Oh, God. Uh, I would try it, but... <laughs> I guess there's no cannibal achievement. Yeah, just take all the stuff and we'll just sell it. The key to the mine will take that. Plentiful healing, take that. Um, he was mining, so where is your actual... Pickaxe, my man? I guess he didn't actually have one, so I had to go further in. Oh, here's one. Yeah, I'll take that. We're not here just to kill bandits, though. Uh... What was that? I completely missed. Did you hear something? <laughs> oh, what? Ah, they see me. Stop it. You're a fool. You're a fool. You What? what you want? Cool down? I can't uh, throw my weapons. Just die. <laughs> I'm a little bit hurt. Oh, because I ran out of stamina. It cost stamina. That's it. All right. Well, there's the balance, I guess. You can't just spam it forever. I just have never done it so hard before. So hardcore, but no more enemies here. So I should I ignite this. That doesn't... Well, it kind of kills my frame, right? I don't know, man. I think it's just a matter of making the game blurrier. But you think, like, with my badass video card that we should be able to do it without a problem. Yeah, practically everything you find is magical. Oh my god, these are worth so much damn money? Nightingale's Prime Stride, worth 8,000. Wearer is muffled and moves silently. Sneaking is 35% more effective. 3% chance per second to restore your health, magic, and stamina. These are incredibly good. What an awesome effect. Put them on. 
And usually in here is where we find, uh, Meridia's stupid beacon. What's so special about this? Nothing? Oh, transmute mineral ore. Yeah, we want this. So it's a tome. And when we read it, we learn transmutation. So that's the only way you can learn that. All right, here's the loot chest. Hopefully there's nothing, uh, <laughs> hopefully there's not Meridia's beacon. A lot of stuff. Nope, don't see Meridia's beacon. That's a relief. Well, we'll find it eventually. Intuitive magic. Novice spells are free. They cost no magicka. That's awesome. Oh my god, this is really good. Another one of these weird swords. Austin Glaces. Does 33 damage. Dude. Spell Tome Demon. Summons the sword demon for a long time. Sheath it to dispel. Okay. Well, it's a conjuration spell, so... We can practice this, and then when we get Bound Bow, we'll be able to cast it without running out of juice. Awesome. Domination. Summon Deidre up to level 15, or put under your control. Um, that's really specific. It'd have to already be Deidre. Okay. Well, we got a lot of loot, and we got Transmute, so I guess what I'm gonna do is go mine all the iron that I can from here, and I think it is mostly iron. And then, um, geez. I guess we need to get back to town so we can start, uh, smithing. Although there is a forge right here. It's not that useful because there's no, um, smelter. I guess if we ever run into, uh, what's-her-face, she'll want one of these. So we'll grab one. Oh, what? No, stop it. This isn't a real weapon. Uh, please grab a weapon. This Iron Guardian spawned because of, uh... Shit, 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 shit. Well, I need some kind of weapon. Leave me alone. Oh, is, is that an enemy or is it my summon or something? Are you not dead? Die. It's like fucked up, man. Uh, I was trying to pick up this stuff. What the hell? The corpse of an iron guardian? Dropped iron ore. That's scary, man. I was just trying to uh, mine and that thing spawned. What? I think it's trying to die, but it's like running into that trap, so it doesn't work. Yeah, the truth is I'm so big into, uh, can I just move this for you? No. Um, I'm so big into this transmutation thing that usually I'll get mods or I'll just cheat somehow to get like more iron ore. Because it takes a hell of a lot of iron ore to transmute to become a master smith. <laughs> but it definitely helps. <laughs> oh, there he finished dying finally. You have to physically hit these now. Again! Fuck off, man. Level 6 Iron Guardian? Holy shit. Mining is hard enough, dude. Yeah, their death uh, animation doesn't work or something. Yeah, so whenever you mine, you gotta have, like, a weapon out. Fuck! Not simple smithing anymore. Well, at least we're getting some skill. It's a bit more of a faff doing this now because, like, the things spawn, uh, they spawn as you hit the ore vein, and they can, like, slide downhill and stuff. You have to go chasing them. No! Can I not hurt it? Die. That'd be a stupid way to die. Well, let's guard it. Nice. So I guess what you're meant to do is just mine all the ore and then come back much later to mine more. But, of course, once I get started mining, I want to mine all the ore all at once. Yeah, it's weird they wouldn't have a smelter around here. You can really do anything. These guys are here. I just want to go, uh, mining, though. Or not mining, I mean smelting. You know, smithing. I don't have the, uh, excuse now. That a dragon attacked Helgen, so maybe they'll just let me in. Well, they have to let me in, because you start the main quest by talking to Uralath. Halt! City's closed with the dragons about. Official dragons? business only. Uh, I have plenty of gold. Welcome to Whiterun, friend. Go right on in. Yeah, it plays a little bit different now. Like, I'm still dragonborn, but what the fuck? I'm dragonborn, but I don't know it. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. 
Who's this? I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Aldous. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. I guess we could do this quest. Mistress, have you met I my father? The gauntlets, He's a steward up at Dragon's yes, Reach. Mistress. Thank you. She's not talking to you. Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. You're definitely added by mods. <laughs> um. Oh, this isn't... Time didn't stop. Oh, it never does. I wish you wouldn't do that. Uh, you pushed me away and now I can't see the fucking... Menu. That's what they were talking about. Uh, she wants an iron dagger? Okay. There you go. That's a Done. decent weapon you've made there. And? Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Here's a dagger. Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Alright. Alright then. This grindstone right here? What the hell are you anyway? I am merely an apprentice. You'll need to speak to Adrienne or Ulfberth if you want to buy something. Well, you're an apprentice that's in the way. Oh, I can use this while you're on it. That's good. Yeah, sharpen the dagger. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in Whiterun. Yorland Greymane's got that honor. Man's sharp... steel is legendary. Shut All up. All I You're ask ha... is a fair chance. Your head is too big. I need to fix that. I've sharpened the iron dagger. This looks good. You put time into your blades, they'll serve you well when you need them. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the what rack. What was that? <laughs> All right. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. I did it. Have you met my father? He's a steward. Shut up. Dragon. Here's your leather. Ah, good. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps, fittings, that kind of thing. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. I'll take my leave then. Um. This thing. Yep. La, 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 la. I help my father in more. Here's a helmet. I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. Okay. Done. You think all the counts? I did it. You have talent. Don't do keep that. working at your craft and you'll be a fine smith one day. Yep. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you will remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? Not really. Let's try it. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. They can at least sell the crap that I just made. Illusion discount. Huh. Yeah, I don't usually cost a lot of illusion. I usually just use illusion to cast courage on my follower repeatedly to uh, get infinite levels. That way you can prestige the skill once it gets to 100 and start over. So I switched to these boots. Zeke's more effective. But a chance to restore health, magicka, and stamina? That's so good. These were kind of good, but not that good. She's got so much gold. Yeah, I thought about using this Warhammer, but no, it's just not powerful enough. This is a good shield if I wanted to use shields, but I'd rather be casting fire on my one-handed weapon. Yeah, I still don't have a lot of, uh, gold. It's like the things I sell, I hardly get paid anything for them. Gotta work on speech, I guess. Battle hammer. <laughs> Big wooden mallet. Awesome. Yeah, I practically can't buy anything. Oh, but if you get a follower, you can send them to sell stuff for you. Let me see if I can improve my, uh, swords. I can't because I need steel ingots. I can probably just buy those. Steel ingots. Y'all have two of those, at least. I don't have enough gold for two steel ingots? Why are they so damn expensive? Uh, <laughs> can I have one steel ingot? Maybe I can forge steel. Mm -hmm. I think I have some corundum. Not corundum ore. I'm not trying to put ingots in here. That's not what it's for. Oh, I want to make steel. Yeah. 
Yes. So I got two steel ingots. All right. Let's improve my throwing things. Oh, they only go up. That's not worth anything. Well, basically, I'm just going to grind. Um, hmm. I'll do what I can. Transmuting and uh, making jewelry, I guess. Summon a demon. Novice. Pretty cheap, too. It sticks around longer than uh, my familiar. Find. Find elements in your possession into various manifestations. Follower Takata. I wonder where they are. Unlimited shouting. That's pretty cool. We should learn to shout. I mean, if throwing stuff all the time and knocking shit over wasn't overpowered enough, I guess. Your heads seem too big. The size of everything seems the same. I'm just a lot shorter. Well, despite everyone's big heads, at least the floor is at the right height. So it's better to do this when you have, like, robes and stuff. But if I can even cast it once... Yeah, I can only cast it once. So this is gonna take absolutely forever. But, um... I want to get better at smithing, and the best way to do that is to make golden jewelry. So you commonly find, you know, precious stones and stuff. The really precious ones you can combine with gold to make the most expensive jewelry that raises your skill the most. Or, of course, you can make iron daggers. Apparently I had a bunch of silver. Oh yeah, some of the stones... Like, the ones that are less valuable, you have to combine them with silver to make stuff. So if you're using transmute, it's kind of a pain, because it'll automatically transmute any silver you have into gold. But if you're trying to build a stock of silver, then you have to, like, drop it on the ground. There's no kind of jewelry you can make with a flawless garnet. Shut up. Uh, I do need silver, actually. Yeah, and I would have had it if I hadn't transmuted it. Whoops. Um, I guess I'll transmute the iron. This is the most expensive thing I can make. I can make some of these. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll make a whole bunch of gold rings. Who the heck is that? What are you addressing in that thing? Oh, it's Takata. What the hell? Come back here. No, she disappeared. I saw her! I saw the lady in the red dress, and then she just disappeared! Dang it. What? You're not anyone special? No, Takata's really special. Uh, she appeared in my menu. <laughs> so I know she's special, I have like, special things to uh, change her behavior and stuff. Dang it. I could really use a follower. I could sell stuff for me. Then I wouldn't have to come back to town all the time. Oh, but I should cast a town portal if I can. Can't seem to figure out how to do it. Oh, Conjure Void Gate. It's an other. Okay. It's in, uh, both my hands. I can't seem to do it. I don't know if it's because I don't know how to dual cast or what. Or even what school it's from, if I did want to learn. That was cool. My mana went all the way to the top instantly because it got pushed up by the 1% chance of my, um, hat or whatever it was. My epic hat that has a 1% or 3% chance or something to instantly refill all of my stats. And when it does, I guess it refills all of them, not just one of them. Well, that makes this a little less boring, because I get to watch this, and sometimes it just boops up. But eventually, I'll be so good at transmuting, I can do this a whole lot. I mean, I guess we did spec into alteration a little bit, so at least we can do this. It's possible to get this spell and not be able to do this at all. But to be really good is if we found some gear that boosted our smithing skill. Then we could improve our weapons and stuff. Oh, forging ingots improves your uh, smithing skill. Good. Well, I guess she goes out somewhere. But if I hang out by the gate, eventually she'll show up again. Alteration increased. Oh my god. Did he crash into the cat? I wonder where these people go. I should really look up what other spells will increase alteration besides transmute, because it's like an add up spell. And until I'm adept, I have to pay extra mana to do it. And basically, I'm learning slower. But, um, there's no way to figure that out in the game, so... Uh, but I have to buy it from Faringar, probably, and I don't have shit for money right now. Only got 260 gold? Can't buy anything. A whole bunch of books to sell. Yeah, I can sell some of this stuff to, uh, Mr. Breton, dude. Hey, kitty. Can't talk to it. <laughs> There's Bree's home. Special for some reason, but we don't know why. The bannered mare in the evenings, Olfina? And why shouldn't I? Just because I'm a gray mane doesn't mean I can't earn my own keep. I didn't mean... I'm sorry I asked.
Hey, want a uh, tusk? Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the Bannered Mare from Hulda. Sure. Why do you want to become a mer- er, You want to become Before a merchant? Before my ma and da passed, I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth tusk. Easier said than done. Is this thing listening to my microphone? Maybe I can help you. You do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? Yeah, it is listening. Here's your mammoth tusk. Thank you. This should turn that old cat's gaze. Maybe I'll be able to become a caravaneer myself one day. As promised, let me show you a thing or two about bargaining. Don't want some shifty merchant giving you a raw trade. Speech increased. Awesome. Farewell. Well, anyway, you're just normal, right? No, you're a patron. Okay. Um, let's talk to the Breton dude. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. Shit. Holy crap, it's so dark in here. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Yeah, okay. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. What was that noise? Oh yeah, I gotta use this thing, but it's really heavy. I mean, what's it made of? Is this a glass sword? Looks like it. Doesn't do that much more damage than the ones I'm already using. Hmm. Probably not worth the weight. Yeah, these aren't worth shit. I don't know what these do. I'm sure it's nothing special. Weight zero, value zero. Restores zero points of health. I wonder if you can ever have high enough speech skill this is worth one gold. Wouldn't there be a point to it? Do come back. So I better cast that instant mastery spell uh, before I sell all these books, because some of them are skill books and I may not have read them. There's a level. Oh, and this one? Oh, that's the one we already read. We don't have any more skill books. We can sell all I'll this sell shit. I'll sell you the thing for 50 gold. For that price? Sure. Everything's for sale, my friend. Nice, I've got 875 gold now. Maybe I can buy something from Farangar. Remember, I'll give you the best deals or die trying. No, you won't. Let's take that level. I guess I want more stamina. When entering combat, automatically activates the most effective magic armor spell you know. That's awesome. But there's nothing in here about getting uh, better at casting and making spells cost less. So maybe that was redone and like it does it automatically if you have enough skill. I don't know. I looked at all the mods installed by Wabajack for this mod list and realized I had already learned about what makes casting easier. The first perk you take in that school of magic reduces the mana it will take to cast based on how skilled you are at it. At max skill, I think it's half off. Otherwise, you'll need enchanted gear to reduce it. I guess we should at least get this. Hey, we're doing okay as far as combat goes. Foolish old woman. You know nothing. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing? And what of my son, hmm? What of Thorold? Is he nothing? I'm tired of Thorold. So don't talk to me about Who are you talking to? Treat yourself and your son chose his side. <laughs> I was like, peeping Tom, peeping Tom. Such is the way of war. The sooner you accept uh, his loss, the better. I will never... I want to go check out with Farangar. I know your family's honor is important to you, but we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that thieves' den. I can't stop now, and I can't get the sword on my own. So you're willing to starve your wife and daughter to reclaim some rusty old sword? I just need to hire one, maybe two good men. You won't starve. I'll put it plainly. You can claim your sword, or you can keep your wife. If you set foot outside that gate, I won't be here when you return. Whoa. What quest is this? Sapir. Wait, I... No, he's walking off. Hey. Brilliant. Right then. What? You tried mercenary work? What? You... It might suit you. 
this thing without deciding my speech. My staff here doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. Okay. I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby, but I'm no fool. I'd need the White Run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. Yeah, now that I have a cross marker, I'm sure I will. If you find that sword, please bring it to me. Ha! Ah, they can barely tolerate our presence on Earth! Today, they take away your faith. But what of tomorrow? What then? Do the elves? I'll check out in Farangar. Man, it's so dark in here. Uh, is Zeroleth gonna approach me and be like, why are you walking so close? I really just want to go over here. I mean, it'd be okay if we started the main quest. It's not like we really have to do anything. Uh. It's so damn dark. It looks kind of cool, though. Hey, Farangar. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors? Not really. What do you have for sale? Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Well, I've been casting some alteration shit, so... He doesn't have any robes of alteration. Do you know any alteration spells? Uh, that don't cost a million dollars? These are really cool spells. I guess they've all been, uh, changed around and there's new stuff. But the question is, what can I cast that's, like, easy? Oh, candlelight. That was a good one, right? You just cast that over and over until you're good at it? I think it is. Oh, well, I guess I'll figure all this out off screen and I'll at least finish... Uh, transmuting all of that, um, iron into gold, so we can get down the, uh, smithing path. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mage's College in Winterhold. Yeah, I think I will do that. But anyway, geez, it's so dark here. Um, <laughs> even near a, uh, torch? It's not taking my FPS, this place runs real smooth, awesome. But, um... Yeah, so a whole bunch of nothing happened here, I guess, and hopefully we can find that Takata person. That would be nice to have a follower, but maybe we'll start the main quest. I don't know, because then we'll at least get Lydia. Something. I'll have to decide what to do. But, um, yep, cutting this one here. So, if you've been watching, thanks, and I'll see you all the next one. Bye-bye. Am I glowing or something? Yeah. <laughs>